use our rainbows and salmon in here. I've never been able to overfeed these guys. Uh, my name is Kent Nelson. Uh, this is Nelson Trout Farm. We started in 1990 raising uh, trout and have gone on to start raising Atlantic salmon. Uh, in our hatchery here we bring the eggs in, put them on hatching trays, get them started on feed, and keep them in our bulk tanks until they get to be approximately three inches long and we take them to our outside raceways. So talk about the challenges of raising uh, an Atlantic salmon in Wisconsin, Kent. Uh, a lot of the challenges are getting the eggs to start with and having good water to keep them alive. I'm thinking that the, the food is, is very important too and most of the reputable companies now like Scredding or Prina make a very good food. Uh, predation is a big problem with, with salmon along with trout but uh, I've just all, I've felt so far that the, tr the salmon have been a lot uh, a lot fussier fish to raise. So the spring itself is behind the, the spring house. The spring house was uh, built back in the days when there was a dairy farm here and they used to cool the cans of milk down in the spring house. The spring itself is between four and four hundred and fifty gallons a minute coming out of the side of the hill. The the actual aquifer that it's coming out of, from what I understand, it originates up near Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Uh, and that was according to the study done by the UW. Uh, water comes out, it's diverted into different raceways in the ponds. So far, even with this winter weather, nothing is frozen. It's been actually okay that way.